What's your soup here? Sorry, Whoa. Chef. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. Chef Claudio is wearing my soup. This is definitely not a good start today. All over his jacket. Oh, my God. For tonight's challenge, we want you to make a perfectly composed three-course dinner. We want one appetizer, one entree, and one dessert. For each course, you'll produce three identical plates, one for each of us. After you've done cooking each course, you'll serve them to us in the banquet room, where we'll taste and judge each of your dishes. We want a MasterChef-worthy three-course meal that demonstrates why you deserve to win. A single mistake could determine whether you win or lose. Only one of you can become Canada's first ever Master Chef. Please take your positions. You now have 10 minutes in the pantry to get everything you need to cook us a three-course dinner that could change your lives forever. This is it, one last cook-off, and I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna be Canada's first Master Chef. I have earned my spot in this finale. Don't let my smile fool you, because I am here to win. Are you both ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time in the pantry starts... Now. I'm so impressed with Eric's ability to learn and his tenacity. He really deserves to win. I'm team Marita all the way. She really has the heart that she puts into it. She does very soulful food. They're both strong in their own way. Marita just has like really bold flavors. She doesn't really lose her head. Eric, on the other hand, he kind of does lose his head, but he always manages to get it done. One appetizer, one entree, one dessert, and one winner. First up, your appetizer course. Marita, what appetizer will you be making? I'm going to be making a pumpkin callaloo soup with salted pigtail, a coconut lime creme fraiche, and some lime pepper sauce. And Eric, what's your appetizer? My appetizer is a crispy pork belly with vegetable dumplings and a wasabi mayo. You'll have just one hour to make them perfect. Your 60 minutes starts. Now. <laughs> Almost a case of the uh, tortoise and the hare. Eric, he's always running around. And Marita, she tends to be sort of cool, calm, and collected. It's an interesting pair. You got this, Marita. I'm like a sledgehammer and she's like a sword. Sledgehammer's pretty risky to bring in battle, but if it, it lands, it's definitely more painful. I'm gonna cook a lot, because that's what I do with my speed, and she's gonna cook simple, refined food and probably smaller portions. I am the total opposite of Eric. He does everything with brisk in it. I am naturally clumsy, so I like to take my time. I'm making a soup inspired by my favorite meal uh, from my Sunday lunch. All fresh ingredients, and it's absolutely delicious. I think you can tell a lot about a cook in the way that they make a soup. She's actually very gifted when it comes to layering all those Caribbean Trinidadian flavors. A soup, to me, is just too simple and plain for a finale dish. It's got to be really good to impress me. Is your soup here? Sorry, Whoa. Chef. Oh, my god. I am so... Sorry. Chef Claudio is wearing my suit. This is definitely not a good start today. All over his jacket. Oh my god. I must say, it's quite delicious, actually. Really? Since I didn't win the dim sum challenge, and my grandpa's here this time, I can't let him down, and I gotta bang it out with these dumplings. These dumplings are from scratch, and they taste amazing. And this is like the first dish my grandpa taught me. Except I'm adding a bit more flavor, a bit more me in it. Eric, staying with very Asian influences, his braised pork, his soy flavorings, although ketchup. Is that traditionally used in, in uh, Chinese yes. cuisine? Yes, it is. Really? Believe me, it is. Eric, 
Rick, I see your father up there. His eyes glued to this station. Have you done this pork before? Uh, no. You have not learned how to cook pork belly from your grandfather? Are you kidding? No, he doesn't really use his pork belly. What does he use then? Pork butt, pork shoulder. Like... Why didn't you use that? He's master chef. Pork belly is definitely more elevated, and I think it tastes better personally. Oh my! You gotta keep focused. Yes, All right. Good luck. cooking with salted pigtail. It's a very cheap cut of meat, but it's packed with flavor and lots of fat, so it's delicious. Marita looks like she's falling behind here. Is her pig's tail fried? That's what she's just been cutting up now. I can see the pork belly coming out. Ah, oh, cutty! That looks Eric. amazing, Eric. Oh, yeah. It nice. looks good. The color looks beautiful. You had a chance to see these amazing dishes, but only Alvin, Michael, and I will be lucky enough to taste them. Let's go. I'm pretty confident in my flavors. This dish is like my grandpa on a plate. He taught me like this traditional Chinese barbecue pork and dumplings. The portions may be small, but the flavor is big. Well done. You only had an hour to cook some very complicated appetizers. Well, we're looking forward to tasting both your dishes. Marita, ladies first. Please bring your plate up. I wanted to take something that's traditional, Trinidadian, and take it up a notch. I have a pumpkin callaloo soup, a coconut lime creme fraiche, a nice breadfruit chip on top, and some lime pepper sauce. Marita, I quite like what you've done, presenting the garnish and then serving the soup separately on the side. It's a nice way to help elevate the service of a soup. So well done on that. Thank you, Chef. Marita, the flavors are absolutely delicious. The gentle heat, the creaminess, and then garnishing it with these wonderful jewels of pumpkin, the crispy fried pork tail, the flavors of the cooked down carrots and onions, the little shadow Benny, the contrasts. This is an elevated Caribbean soup. Your presentation has improved dramatically. I mean, this is restaurant presentation. The taste, absolutely spot on. I mean, I would come back again, again, and again for the soup. It's a beautifully balanced soup. What I find extraordinary about it is that you've taken ingredients from your homeland and you combine them so brilliantly with some Western ingredients as well. You've just left me wanting more. So it's, it's stunning. Thank you, Chef. All right, Eric, your turn. Bring it up. Judges really praise Marita's soup. That makes me really nervous. It was pretty much close to flawless. I made a crispy pork belly with a vegetable dumpling and a wasabi mayo with a soy reduction. This is a very ambitious dish. To get a crispy pork belly done in an hour is not easy. Eric, first of all, you have put a lot on this plate. Pork belly, absolutely tender inside and crispy. So spot on, perfect. The dumpling, this is restaurant quality. This is something I would love to serve in my restaurant. Pork belly, it's not the easiest thing in the world to cook. And you've been able to maintain that moist, tender succulence that I love and look for in a really great pork belly. Thank you, Chef. It is delicious. The dumplings, I think you did a great job. 
You can see the vegetables, how they've been cut with such precision through it. The dish was amazing. Unfortunately, the pork I have here is actually quite dry. The fat does not run completely through the entire pork belly. You end up with pieces that have a little more fat. Uh, the dumplings were absolutely delicious. Overall, I think the dish has some strengths, but the pork for me was dry. Please go back to the kitchen and clear your stations. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. They're both cooking next level now, and it's fantastic to see. Eric's pork, I thought, was cooked to perfection. It was very difficult to cook a pork belly in a relatively short period of time, and he pulled it off. The only thing I wish that he would have done differently was cut down on the quantity and focus more on the quality and giving me the same piece of pork that both of you received. So Marita's soup, I was blown away by it. I thought it was spectacular. Every single component in that dish worked. I think Marita, at this time, has the edge. Uh, you know what, I don't know. It, it could be anybody's game at this point in time. Well, I'm neutral. I totally feel like I won the appetizer round. I'm kicking myself. Didn't realize the pork belly is not even all the way through. I cut it all from one piece. 